close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Watch the breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. And then the next breath, and then the next breath. See how long you can stay with the breathing. And try to make the breathing comfortable. If the breathing is not comfortable, the mind's going to wander off someplace else very quickly to find comfort someplace else. So give it a comfortable place to stay right here. You can experiment. It keeps the mind interested. Try long breathing for a while and see what impact that has on the body. Then shorter breathing. What impact does that have on the body? You can try deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. All kinds of ways you can work with the breath to find a sense of well-being, a sense of being at home right here. Because if the mind doesn't feel at home, it's going to go wandering off looking for pleasures in sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, all of which are very unreliable. Sights can be good for a while, but then they change. Sounds can be good for a while, but then they change. And the things you do in order to get those nice sights and that sounds, those are many times are things you later regret. So you've got to find a place inside where the happiness is, as the Buddha says, blameless. It doesn't cause any harm to yourself, doesn't cause any harm to anybody else. And it's more reliable as well. Once you master this skill, you find that you can create a sense of well-being wherever you are. Because as we all know, life has its ups and downs, and we can't decree that the world will always be the way we want it. Sometimes it's too hot, sometimes it's too cold. Sometimes we die too fast, sometimes we die too slow. All kinds of things that don't go in line with our wants and our wishes. And so our happiness depends on things outside being a certain way. What that means is the mind is weak. It can't depend on itself to find its own happiness. But if you develop the qualities of mind, like mindfulness, keeping the breath in mind, alertness, watching what you're doing in the present moment, and ardency, really sticking with this, really being earnest in what you're doing and training the mind. You find that the mind well trained then can stay anywhere, because that's what the training is all about. Instead of sneaking off to find its pleasures and things that are going to cause trouble, you've got a good, healthy sense of well-being right here that you can depend on. And the mind gets stronger and stronger so that it can maintain its happiness in any situation. When things are too hot or too cold, the mind is still okay. Things are happening too fast, things are happening too slow, aging, illness, and death come. The mind can still be okay. That's the advantage of having a, a trained mind. Just now we took refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. What that means is we take them as an example in how we create a sense of refuge inside ourselves, a place inside the mind where we can truly be safe from all the greed and aversion and delusion that cause us so much trouble. Because the world is just going to be the way it is. It, it operates in line with cause and effect. Once you're born, there's no way you're going to escape aging, illness, and death. But we can learn how to keep our minds at peace in the midst of all this. The world has, has its own appropriateness, but our mind often thinks in ways that are not appropriate, and that's what causes us a lot of trouble. So we learn how to train the mind so it can keep itself under control. When the mind is under control and it's not causing itself any trouble, you realize the world doesn't have to trouble it at all. We're the ones who are creating all the trouble. So try to create a trouble-free mind, not by keeping your environment perfect, which is never going to happen, but by trying to make your mindfulness perfect, make your discernment perfect, so that no matter what comes up, you can deal with the things and not suffer, and find a sense of true well-being, a sense of true happiness inside. That's why this is the most important skill you can master, and why it's important that you try to do it. Work at it every day, because it will pay you off many times over. <laughs>